happy Monday, happy start of the week. I'm really happy with the way I'm repurposing a lot of my old articles of clothing, like this thrifted sweater that I got years, years ago. Um, this one is relatively new, leather pants. I found it at like a luxury vintage store in Lower East Side. And then this jacket was Reformation from last year. So nothing really new except for this necklace that a viewer gave me when she bumped into me last weekend. Okay, we're back on track now. I chopped off the tip of my cone with my braid, so I'm gonna end up making something smaller than originally planned. That's okay, I tucked in my braid now, so it's not going anywhere. I am at this moment just working a lot on the wheel to improve my skill, like trying to throw slightly bigger objects, making sure it's centered, and also when it comes off of the wheel, making it cleaner so that in the trimming stage, there's less to worry about. I don't have like a finished vision in mind. I'm just making each piece as I go and trying to make it as quick as I could uh, with ease and skill. So I'm doing a lot of learning and practice. I left my camera here yesterday <laughs> and I didn't get to vlog anything. I went on a date, I had dinner, now I'm back. I'm gonna work a little bit before going home. They're closing early today for a special event. Desmond's doing a table sale soon. That's why. Hustling. I am also hustling on the hand building side of things here. I'm making a mug in the shape of my nephew Kuni. He's a cat of one of my good friends Radia and I am exploring the idea of creating customs so I did this just to see how it would go and maybe in the future I would be taking orders. It's so nice out so I'm treating myself to a Korean corn dog. I almost said horn dog. Walking south in the city until I finish my food so I can take the subway. But by the time I hit Madison Square Park, I'm like, you know what's around this area? Dippin' Dots. So dessert, dessert. Enjoying some first signs of spring. And speaking of spring, since I'm home early today, let's do some spring cleaning. It's nice how minor changes can make a difference so just bring out some florals and it's more colorful now and in the living room I've been meaning to move my pothos for a while so I'm putting little nails on the wall and guiding it along the wall so it can keep climbing because it was getting kind of ugly looking like it was just draping randomly above the couch and also getting in the way so now it's safe and sound. Legend sunrise meets my skin. <coughs> Sorry, my eyes still closed. I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow them. Golden, oh, baby, you know what this means. Off to an early.
early start today. Got up at like 6 and finished my laundry. And Bambi's favorite thing, if you follow me on Instagram, I often post story frames of him feeling himself and really enjoying life whenever I pour the warm, freshly tumble dried clothes onto the bed. Don't push that. Bambi, no. Bambi. I had a resolution to wear more of my skirts this year. I've had like a few and I always forget about it in my closet. It's comfy. And this just so happens to kind of match it. It's a slightly different shade of green. Chunky monochromatic look and I'm going to wear black boots. This is like 10 years old at this point. Um, well, 8 years old. And then just a black turtleneck. Yeah, earrings. Last thing. Going for an asymmetrical look today. I like the length, proportion of these. How they pair together. I think I made both of these, yeah. Today was a hard mental health day. I'm wearing a pretty dress because I planned to have dinner with a friend, but I had to cancel on her. So it's a pretty brief day. Did some trimming, went back home. Curry and rice for dinner. Did some journaling. Did some sketching. Good morning. Good morning. I had an alarm set. So I could crawl out of bed right before therapy, but I woke up naturally thinking it was later and it was only eight. It's fine. I did a little morning meditation in bed and it felt really good. I have I've fallen kind of out of my meditation daily habit. I used to meditate like twice to three times a day and I just got really busy and felt like meditation was not like it didn't replenish me and it felt forced so right now i'm just gently moving back into the habit because i do feel like that in general when i'm not meditating i don't have as much clarity and focus um focus is a really big one so i really want to pick that back up and especially first thing in the morning get in tune with my existence like when you wake up you're really out of whack at least like especially for me i feel like i have to work really hard to settle into my vessel and also like get moving like i realize like waking up i can't just jump right into something um you need to kind of like warm up your body and i'm like my bones are cracking and popping and i, I think it's I'm gonna also start every morning with like a quick stretch. I'm wearing red undies today because I'm going to see Super Mario Brothers. That's how cheesy I am. I'm like, I'm gonna pick red underwear because it makes me feel on theme for the movie. I'm kind of excited. It looks like a really cool animated film. I'm excited for work, but I'm also excited to get off work and go see that movie. <laughs> Let's just say I'm Princess Peach today. It's not quite the same shade. Eh. I'm going for that kitschy look. Princess Peach, ready to save Mario's ass again. Oh, I 
Admiring how my hair is fading because I washed it for the first time yesterday after dyeing it hot pink and it looks nice. It's like beginning to be pastel. I need to finish some stuff and check up on the cups and this is minutes before this cup died because as I suspected it was way too dry and it didn't bind so the swiggle handle fell off. Oh my goodness. That explains my friend Jay's personality very, very well. <laughs> She's here and we're gonna set up a hot pot for tonight. I have my board game crew coming over. Do, 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 do. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. 